What I want you to do, you can either close your eyes or put your hand over your eyes, like you know, like this, so that you can't see. Alright? Now I gotta take my eyes open so I can see who's looking. Come on, everybody, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Okay, now how many fingers am I holding up? Alright. Okay, you can open your eyes back up. You couldn't see anything because your eyes are covered. Well, in this picture we just read about a man who was born blind. And that means that you can't see. It's always dark. All right? How many of you are afraid of the dark? Yeah, I was too. When I was a little kid, uh, you, yeah, thank you. Um, I was not too good with the dark. You know, I was afraid there was things under my bed or things in the closet. Yeah. So what my mom did was, she left the light on in the hallway and then left my bedroom door open a little bit so some of that light would come in and it would not be so dark in my room. And then I felt, okay, I can kind of see everything's okay. And then I could close my eyes and go to sleep. Well, anyone know what this is? Night light. all right? Obviously, I don't have a plug in because I'm not that far. You have one of these too? Good. Well, you need a light light in the bathroom. Because if you have to go to the bathroom at night, you know, it helps to be able to see what you're doing and where you're going so you don't bang in and stuff. All right? So sight is very important and light is very important because even if you have your eyes open and it's really, really dark, you can't see. Now, I have something that I really enjoy because I never really thought I'd ever have one of these. But I'm sure some people do. Where is it? I've got this on my phone. Alright? People have a little flashlight app on their phone. Boy, this comes awfully handy every so often versus having, oh, gee, where's the flashlight? And go look in the garage and look in the drawers looking for a flashlight. So having one right there is very, very handy. In fact, at night, first thing in the morning, just to give you a print. You know something that doesn't like light? Skunks. Skunks do not like light. And our dogs have been skunked a few times. And so I go out there and I turn on the porch light and I go out before they get let out and I take a flashlight and I look into all the corners of the yard looking for the two little beady eyes that I have seen. Them. And I chased them off with a light flashlight. So, you know, light is very important. And in the context of this verse, Jesus is talking about he is the light of the world. When people do bad things, when they're evil, and even sometimes when we think about doing bad things, do we want anybody to see us doing bad things? No. We would kind of like them to do it. We do it in the dark, or we do it someplace where we think someone won't see us. That's being in the dark. When we are in the light, we, we're very happy. We have birthdays in the light, right? Yeah, because we're very happy about birthdays and doing good stuff. And we like people to see us and want to do good stuff. Yes, you went to a birthday party. And so, yes. I went to a birthday party for Kate too. Good. I'm sure you enjoyed that. So, you know, having light is very important. And so we are to be God's light. So if you imagine we're like little people <laughs> flashlights. And we shine with our love and our caring for other people and doing good things that Jesus and the Holy Spirit help us to do so that we point to Jesus. If you ever look at the moon, this is always the analogy I like. You see the moon, when you have a full moon, it's awfully bright. Does the moon have any, does the light come from the moon? It reflects, it's kind of like in a mirror. So the light is coming from the sun and bouncing off the moon, and then we see that. We are to be like moons, full moons, reflecting God's love and shining our light, you know, to others. Okay? Let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, as you are the light in this world, help us to be a reflection of your light in our lives, that we shine on others, and we show them the way to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, no, oh, thank you, honey. Boy, you're quick. I said.
Cindy, we don't need that many today. I'm glad she overruled me. <laughs> okay, these are to stay closed. We want the darkness to stay inside, okay? So that, and then you can open these when you're done or when your parents say you can have, okay? So take one of these and then go get a, a folder full of them. Okay, dear. That's a first. Fair trick. 